Hello Divine Souls, welcome back to my channel, Twin Flames Exposed. My name is Terry. I hope you're safe and doing well. If you're new here, welcome. And if you are returning, welcome back. So let's get the collective energy for this Twin Flame reading today. You have the King of Wands and the Queen of Wands. So what I'm getting here is that in the beginning, there was a lot of passion, a lot of desire. You guys bonded really well. The chemistry was off the charts. There was a lot of communication, a lot of texting and phone calls going back and forth. You guys couldn't stay away from each other. The feelings were mutual. And there was a lot of love. But something happened to where this connection started to drift apart. Because on this Queen of Wands, you're looking to the right. You're looking away from this King of Wands. He's looking forward. So I'm getting a separation Things started to fall apart and you're not seeing eye to eye right now. This relationship could have ended in the spring or summer. It doesn't necessarily have to be this spring or this summer. It could have been last year or a couple years back, but you thought everything was going well. So let's see why you have your back turned to this King of Wands collective. Clarify the King of Wands. You have the Three of Cups. So this King of Wands stepped outside of your connection and was entertaining a third party. Clarify the Queen of Wands. You have the Tower. So you were blindsided by this third party. And this caught you by surprise because the King of Wands is someone who stand up. The King of Wands is a family man, someone who's loyal and someone who has integrity. This King of Wands was wearing a mask because right before the Tower comes out, you have the Devil. They were also hiding addictions from you. With this Three of Cups coming out, this person could be an alcoholic and they like to party. Maybe you knew this about this person, but they like to have a good time. Clarify the tower. You have the Queen of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles in the reversed, and the Eight of Wands. So the plot thickens. For some of you, this was a workplace affair. Your person went out drinking with a co-worker and they hooked up and this has been going on for a while. They were keeping the secret from you, but you found out with the tower. But something happened here because this king of pentacles is in the reversed. And then you have the tower. So that situation did not work out. So I'm definitely seeing two relationships. So they got with this queen of pentacles for fun, for fucking and for finances. It also looks like they went into some kind of business deal with this Queen of Pentacles and it fell flat. Your person lost a lot of money and things didn't go as planned. This Queen of Pentacles came off like she was abundant. She came off like she had it all and they fell for the okie doke, they fell for the illusions. Whatever that business idea was came crumbling to the ground. That's why he's in the reversed because he found out the truth. This third party got in his pockets and she got his ass good. So let's see what the hell he's doing right now. Clarify the King of Pentacles in the reversed. You have the Nine of Swords and the Three of Wands. So he's stressed the fuck out. He's having major anxiety. He can't sleep. And it's because he knows he fucked up. He's sad, he's depressed, and he's grieving you collective. This Three of Wands is also telling me that he's leaving things behind. Yeah, you have the Queen of Swords. He cut that bitch off. You also have the world. That cycle is closing out. And with judgment, he's getting karma. He's also going through some kind of legal issues. If he was married to that third party, they're going through a divorce. With the world and judgment, he's going through a major awakening. You also have the Emperor. Yeah, so that should have been masculine. He's taken back his power. And with judgment... He wants to talk to you about what happened because for a lot of you, you never got closure. You're divine masculine just up and left. And that's why he's in the five of cups energy. You also have the five of pentacles. Yeah, he's broke, busted, and disgusted with himself. He's also drinking a lot right now to cope. He went into a bad business deal with this karmic. He is financially depleted. And he has his back up against the wall right now. You have the Knight of Wands, the Seven of Swords, and the Wheel of Fortune. Damn. So his player ways finally caught up to him. He thought he was being cute with the Seven of Swords, sneaking and creeping behind your back. 
but karma came knocking with this wheel of fortune because he screwed over on the empress and the universe wasn't having it that's why he's getting hit left and right in his pockets with the two of pentacles with the empress and the wheel of fortune you are a blessing for this divine masculine and he didn't see it because he was too busy chasing skirts but he got a rude awakening with judgment that's why he's in the five of cups energy feeling like shit looking like shit and smelling like shit for some of you this divine masculine was a manager and he slept with this karmic this karmic was his employee and there was a big scandal at work that's why the tower came down and your divine masculine ended up losing his job with the five of pentacles this was your divine counterpart you have the emperor and the empress out here but he fumbled you he's wanting to reach out with the eight of swords but he knows that you're in the nine of wands energy you ain't trying to hear it you waited long enough some of you waited a couple of months to see if he was going to come back to see if you guys can work things out and he left you out in the cold that's why you made the judgment call to walk away. You have the Eight of Cups and you also have the Six of Swords. You are beyond fed up and you're healing with temperance. You're also in the hermit mode. Things have been revealed to you. Things came to light. For some of you, I'm hearing you don't need closure because you got your own closure from spirit. And some of you have cut off all forms of communication with the Divine Masculine. You have him blocked. You have the Page of Cups in the reversed. And he is fuming mad with the Five of Wands. And the reason why he's mad, Divine Feminines, is because you pull back your energy. You have the Strength card. Your mind is made up. You have the Two of Swords. You're ready to be happy with someone new with the Sun. You also have the Queen of Cups and the King of Cups. Some of you are dating. Some of you are in new relationships. And for those of you who are not in a relationship, you're looking for your happily ever after. But some of you are also taking a break with the Hermit. Some of you are also in a serious relationship. And this is going to lead to marriage. You have the Hierophant and the Lovers. This person is your soulmate. Some of you could also be living with this person with the Ten of Pentacles, but you're happy. You also have the Six of Cups. So they're wanting to return. And with the Knight of Pentacles being in the reversed and the Chariot, they're coming in fast. Yeah, you guys have communication coming in with the Ace of Swords. What do they want to talk about, Holy Spirit? Why is the Ace of Swords here? You have the Two of Cups, the High Priestess, and the Nine of Cups. Damn, they are secretly in love with you, Collective. But they didn't know how to express their feelings. You're their wish fulfillment. But they were being very mysterious with you. They were keeping secrets. They're getting advice from someone about you and what they should do. This person fantasizes about you a lot. They're also tapping into your dreams. You could be dreaming about them, but they're in your energy really strong. And they're communicating with you guys telepathically. Let's go to the Twisted Oracle deck and see what else comes out. What else is going on with this person, Holy Spirit? You have signs, intuition, dreams, and clarity. What did I just say? They're tapping into the 5D. They have gotten clarity. They're cleansing. They're purging. They're healing. And I'm also seeing a lot of alone time. They're also in the hermit mode. You have shattered. And this is what's got them fucked up in the head because they know they shattered this connection. They also know that you're fed up with them. They feel like it's over. You have goodbye. Clarify goodbye. You have fresh start. Yeah, just like I said, a lot of you are moving on. And for some of you, you're in a new relationship. The next card is Firestorm. It says karma, drama, endings, loss, and mental breakdown. They are having a mental breakdown. And this karma is hitting them hard. I told you they lost a lot. Your next card is feelings. And you also have divine feminine. So that just clarified what I said with the Two of Cups and the High Priestess. They are truly in love with you and they didn't know how to express their feelings. You also have blocked. And like I said, for some of you, you have them blocked. That Page of Cups came out in the reversed. But they're calling you through spam calls and text. And the last card is Twin Flames. Woo, 
y'all, this man was stubborn as fuck. But when he saw that you weren't chasing anymore and you told his ass deuces, that's when reality started to sink in. You have been silent. You have been healing. You're much happier. And you're letting spirit lead the way. You're just going with the flow. But right now, your divine masculine is in spiritual jail getting that ass whooped. I'm going to continue this reading in the extended. I'm going to do a part two. So we're going to see what's next for you and your divine masculine. What are your current feelings about the situation? What are his current feelings about you? The Ace of Swords also came out. So he's wanting to talk about what happened. And for a lot of you, you never got closure. So we're going to see what he's wanting to tell you. And then we'll wrap up with some messages from your divine masculine. So if you guys would like to purchase the extended readings, it's for members only, but I'm offering a seven day free trial. So you're free to check it out. Please give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel so when I upload new content, you'll be notified. Have an awesome day. Love and light always.